Hey people on YouTube land, Zach Hall back here with another Bible update uh, for the channel Bible Fanatics. And today I wanted to go over a color coding system. So uh, I've been trying to get into a color coding system for like ever since I have had a premium Bible. And I've always started and stopped, uh, mainly based off of me losing my highlighters. So, <laughs> But I, uh, I did want to start one. And so I was watching a video by Pastor Harrison, and he's a good brother on YouTube. You can look him up too. That's his channel name is Pastor Harrison. And he does Bible reviews, and then he has some preaching and different things. But he did one on the importance of having a note-taking system, specifically highlighting things. Uh, just the fact that if you have a consistent highlighting scheme, you can memorize Scripture faster. You can flip through your Bible to find passages faster because you memorize the color and so you don't even have to necessarily rely on the page number or the, the uh, runner in the top where it says, you know, John chapter 3 or whatever. You can just look and you know by the general area of your Bible, you know by the color what passage you're dealing with. And so then the question was, well, what Bible am I going to use this new color coding system on? And so for that, I have chose this beautiful lambskin Bible right here. I really wanted to show the grain on this thing. But the grain is just absolutely amazing on the lambskin on this one. Uh, but this is the Ruckman Reference Bible, and I've done a review on this. If you're new to this video and you're interested in this Bible, uh, go to my main page, and it'll be a couple uh, of videos down, and I have a full review. But, uh, of course, again, I don't agree with Ruckman on a lot of things. Probably agree with him only on 40% of his notes or so. Just some of them are crazy. Like, I, I'm, like, I don't know why they're in there. Some of them are really helpful. I find his most, uh, most helpful notes to be in the New Testament uh, church epistles, so like Galatians, Ephesians, Corinthians, Romans, um, Thessalonians, all those. Those are really, he's really solid on. Uh, and then I like a lot of his old stuff, Old Testament stuff, a lot of the prophecy stuff he has, the rapture, second coming, is really good. Um, so I don't agree with everything that he does or says, and don't even agree sometimes with the language he pits it in. But I do love his honesty. I love that he's out there. He's going to pit it in your face. You're going to have to deal with it from the Word of God. And I do like his faithfulness to Scripture and that he just tries to go with what the Bible says and to teach it. And I respect him, watched many of his videos, and, and learned a lot from him. But anyways, regarding that, the reason besides that, besides the fact that I do like some of his notes and uh, have benefited from them, I really love his section headings, actually. Those are really good, too. Is the fact this is wide margin, okay? So I can put any of my notes in here when I'm preaching because it's going to be my main preaching Bible. So I can put... All my notes in here that I want to. Okay, that's helpful when I'm preaching. It doesn't even have to deal with the text. I can just write something down, some bullet points, some facts about the text. Or I can write out a sermon outline because there's wide margins everywhere. Um, the center column reference, he actually is pretty light on a lot of things. So you can see just slipping through here, there's not a lot of references. So I can write my own references in there. The paper in this one's pretty good. Uh, I would stop short of saying it's premium, but I would say it's a lot better than just a regular run-of-the-mill Bible store uh, Bible paper. This is really nice and uh, opaque, really. There's not a lot of show-through. As you can see, this text is... Uh, it's not line-matched, but the darkness of the font and the fact that sometimes it does line-match just on accident. So you can see, like, right here, it's actually line-matched. So a lot of times it is, which helps the readability. And the paper's just really good. I do like this paper. But anyway, so getting into the highlighting system... So I had to choose a Bible. Now I had to pick the highlight. And the utensils I'm using for this one, or the highlighters I'm using, are the uh, casemates here. And uh, see if you can. There we go. So you can kind of see. And that is a M-A-T-E there at the end. It's kind of, kind of picking it up. But they have a bunch of different colors, uh, which I liked, because if you're going to write a bunch of notes on different subjects, you're going to need a bunch of colors as you're highlighting. And so these casemate gel highlighters uh, have a lot of colors. And actually, these are my wife's. She's just letting me... Let me borrow them, so a uh, big thank you to her. But I, I probably will buy a set here soon because I do really like these. But I used either these or the Z-Bright ones. And I like the fact that the Z-Brights are a little bit drier. Uh, and I'll show you what I mean with the gel highlighters. But they show through so much. Even on uh, the old Schofield wide margin I have from local church. And that paper is amazing. But it would show through so much. It wouldn't bleed through, but you could, you could definitely see the show through. And these don't show through as much. But they do leave, uh, sometimes if you're not careful and it's too humid in the house or too stuffy and there's too much moisture in the air, they'll wrinkle the paper. 
and I'll show you what I mean. It's not terrible, not anything where I wouldn't like want to use the Bible anymore, obviously, but um, there's less show through. It's smoother to use. It's a little bit easier to use in my opinion. Um, these are refillable um, and they're twists, so they're really, really easy to use. But uh, then they come in a bunch of different colors. So getting into my system here now, these, um, obviously what I'm gonna have may be different from you, but this is just to kind of give you a general idea and maybe help you if you're struggling with coming up with a system. Um, and you know, you're trying to use what, what highlighters should I use? What colors should I use? For me, I wanted the most amount of colors I could possibly get. So I got a solid, I believe I have six colors here. I probably could add a couple more, but I'm sticking to six for right now just to keep it simple. Uh, but up here, see for green, I have uh, the Holy Spirit, sanctification. So anything doing with uh, God getting the uh, old man out of our lives and us becoming more like Christ. Old Testament quotes in the New Testament. So if uh, an apostle or Jesus or somebody's quoting someone from the Old Testament, I would highlight that in green. And then the Word of God in general. So anything that deals with Scripture, um, the inspiration, or, uh, prof or not prophecy, but uh, anything that deals with the Word of God in general, I would highlight in green. Blue, I would do salvation and specifically justification. So salvation is multifaceted in this fact that justification is when God declares you righteous right then. So the moment you place your faith in Christ, you repent of your sin, place your faith in Christ, God declares you righteous and that you are now blameless before him because of what Christ has done in paying for your sins on the cross. However, the after justification, there is a process called sanctification which is the progressive God making you more like Jesus Christ and making you more like the new man rather than the old man and the fleshly man. So that's sanctification. So I made those two separate uh, instead of just doing a general salvation highlight. So I did justification for blue, uh, Baptist distinctive since I'm Baptist, and then a gospel. So anything that is dealing with like, a, you know, 1 Corinthians 15 type stuff, the, the gospel in Galatians, I'll show you where I'm highlighting a lot of stuff that deals with that. Orange, I have the rapture, the premillennial reign of Christ, and then different dispensations. Now, again, I'm not a seven or eight point dispensation, and this is where I would disagree with Ruckman too. I believe salvation has always been by grace through faith throughout the entirety of Scripture, and I think Galatians pretty much destroys any argument saying that there was a faith and work system. Uh, Paul pretty much destroys that argument. So I would disagree there, but I do believe dispensational teaching does divide the Bible correctly, I just don't think there was different ways when people were saved. Uh, glorification I did for yellow. So that's another part of salvation eventually. Right now we're not glorified. We're not in the, the bodies that God has promised us. According to 1 Corinthians 15, we're not in heaven with him. So we're not quite glorified, but anything that deals with the glorification of God or of God uh, glorifying us because of Christ, I would put that in yellow. New heaven and new earth and new Jerusalem would be in yellow. Purple, uh, since uh, purple's kind of been like a royal color throughout history, a lot of Roman emperors used purple. Purple was a, um, for example, I think it was Lydia who was a seller of purple because purple was a high demand color. It was really expensive. It was only for royalty. So for because of that, I pit Messianic prophecies, Christ as king, uh, God's sovereignty. And again, I don't use that in the term like a Calvinist would, but I do believe in God's sovereignty and Christ's deity. So I put all the kind of the kingly things about God or Christ in purple. And pink, I did uh, sin. So anything that deals with our sin or someone's sin in the Bible. And I did the blood of Christ, the love of God, and then our love uh, that we're supposed to have towards our brothers or sisters in Christ that God commands us to have. And then here I have two Pigma Micron pins. Right now that I'm using for notes, and I'm using the O1 because in this Bible, the paper can hold up really well to the O1s, and it's easier to write with those. Uh, you just have a little bit more control. So I'm using those for writing my actual notes. So just to kind of show you how that looks on paper, first section we'll go to here is John. Been studying out this for Sunday school for our kids' class. And so... I'll show you John 1. I kind of went back and did this, but we're in 16, but I went back and did this anyways. So here, for the deity of Christ, I put it in purple. And then just to show you, you can barely see that bleed through. So it's right there, you can kind of see it, but it's really not, really not showing up that bad. But you can kind of see here, well, this one's not as bad, so let me, let me go to the other section. So what we're studying right now is John 16. 
So this is, has to deal all with the Holy Spirit, anything that I've highlighted in green here. So it's Jesus telling them, promising the coming of the Comforter, which is the Holy Spirit. So I highlighted this in green. And the camera is kind of catching that as a yellow, but it is a light green. Um, but here, you can kind of see the waviness here, it, like in the wind, and he has come. There's like a little waviness. And that's because there was a lot of humidity when I was highlighting, and I can even feel it. Like there's bumps and stuff like that, and it's still a little wet. So, you know, you could have a danger of tearing your paper, although it's not that bad. Um... Especially if you just let it sit and dry, but there is this this waviness. If it's not, uh, you know, good, nice, cold, and crisp weather, and your house is warm, there's a danger of this becoming a little bit uh, more wavy. And so you can see the show through on the back though is not bad at all. And the zebrite. So this was a zebrite. You would be able to see like it, it was a lot. This is really not bad at all. You can barely see that. It won't distract your reading on the opposite side of the page. So. That is uh, pretty helpful. You can see I can write all my notes and even put little charts down here uh, in the margins. I can put my references here and then, you know, margin space to write and take notes and whatnot. Uh, then in Galatians, that's where I'm starting to do a sermon series next. Here we have the pink, which is, has to do with uh, sin, so that uh, he gave Christ for our sins. Here is the gospel. So that's why I highlighted that in blue. And you can see it there too. Yellow is glorification, so they glorify God in me. And that's not necessarily glorification in the sense of salvation, but, but it still deals with it, so I highlighted yellow. Again, gospel or justification. And then over here we have justification and gospel, or both were gospel, and then this one is also the gospel. And so you can kind of see Paul is really destroying a work salvation in Galatians. Uh, he really goes through the fact that salvation is by grace through faith. It's not of the law. The law can never save us. It could not make the promise of Abraham void that God promised him, and Abraham believed him by faith that the promised Messiah would come, and that was Jesus, and now we must have faith in Him. So there's really no room for a works and faith salvation in Galatians. And then uh, you can see the show through here. That's the green. That's the blue. Still doesn't look bad. I can still read the text on the opposite side just fine. Um, let's see here. Let's see where I highlighted over. So you can see here where you highlight over a section. You can see this is a little bit wavy too. So it's got a little bit wavy because of the gel highlighter. So it's a little bit more wet than a uh, Zbrite. But the Zbrite, for whatever reason, just really soaks into the paper and shows through the backside. And I didn't like that because I want to be able to read the text uh, on the opposite side without any distraction. So the gel highlighter, highlighters allow me to do that. And so that's why I chose to use them. So you can see the blue up there. Then there's the yellow from the glorification, the opposite side. Still not as bad, though. I mean, pink, blue, but you can still read this. So that's why I like, like the gel highlighter. So these really work really well. You can probably find these at a just a generic Walmart, um, Office Depot, maybe Hobby Lobby, somewhere like that. Um, and I don't think they cost a lot either. So if you want to look at those, the Casemate gel highlighters, of course, and I also use for the notes the Pigma Micron pens, and I use the 01. Uh, you can use the 005. Both are really good options for note taking. So that's kind of my system of notes I'm going with right now, and I uh, want to just kind of keep to it and um, see where it goes. Because I I used to be a highlighting type person. I used to love to highlight verses. The only problem was I would do it at random. I would have no rhyme or reason for highlighting a verse other than that I liked it or a preacher was preaching on it. And so when I went back and looked at it, it just made no sense to me at all. However, now that I have these highlighters and I've put meaning to the color, I've, I'm looking for something. And when I find that, then I highlight it. Now I know, oh, blue's gospel or blue's justification or, you know, pink has to do with sins or Jesus uh, substitution on the cross for us. Yellow has to deal with glorification. Green deals with the the Holy Spirit, 
and sanctification and, and the Word of God. So now I can look through my Bible and just know by color the different subjects that Scripture is dealing with. And really in Galatians, this is really helping me look and see the book as a fact of these. there's been these Jews that have crept into the churches of Galatia and have been spreading this false doctrine that you need to be circumcised, you need to keep the law in order to be saved. Like, you need to believe in Jesus, but you need to add these things to your salvation or else you're not truly saved, you're not truly a child of Abraham. And Paul absolutely just dismantles this argument in Galatians. And it's just even more prevalent to me as I'm highlighting through here how much Paul just mentions the gospel by faith, justification, justification, by faith, <laughs> by faith, uh, in Jesus Christ, not by the works of the law. And so as you go through this, and this is literally, I only use blue for justification and gospel, but there's so many more verses in here about faith and not works of the law, but I don't highlight those because I don't have a color for those yet. So this is literally, the blue you see is just words that literally have gospel, justification, or anything like that in them. And so Paul really does build a big argument that salvation is by faith, uh, or by grace through faith, and not by works that we've done. So that's kind of help, helps me see it. And then we have the also the Holy Spirit in here, and especially back in John 16, um, this is a big passage on the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit's role, uh, that the whole reason why God sent him, or Jesus sends the Holy Spirit. And so I have all these verses where I can just flip through real quick and now, okay, boom, this is about the Holy Spirit. This is about the Holy Spirit. And so when I'm preaching through a text about the Holy Spirit, I can quickly reference through my Bible and see green, and I know that's, oh, probably about the Holy Spirit. So I hope that kind of helps you guys. Uh, if you've been maybe struggling, thinking about doing a highlighting system, um, I just want to encourage you. I think it's worth it. And I, I know I just started this. I'm really going to try to stick with it and stick with this one Bible and just, just do it and stay faithful to it uh, because it's already reaping benefits for me right now. And it's only been like two or three days, but I've been studying and the just the highlights really make me focus on the fact of Okay, this is about this, and this is about this, and it just helps me to reference my Bible faster, and to pull scriptures, and to see the context of things a lot better, and to see arguments a lot better. So, that helps me as a preacher. It could help you too, as you just want to study the Bible, or even devotionally, if you wanted to make a highlighting system about maybe different topics uh, in your life. Uh, I think that would be really beneficial too. Uh, since I study it in more of a preaching style for a lot of things that I do, I like to do theology and just different things about that. But you could create your own highlight system. Again, you don't have to use these specific highlighters. I recommend them. They're really good. Uh, they don't bleed through your Bible paper. They're not like a Sharpie. Uh, you can actually read the opposite side of the page without having to look at the highlighting from the other side. Uh, the only thing is to make sure that you're in a cooler room and that there's not a lot of humidity because the pages might start to wrinkle where you're highlighting. Again, it's not bad to where I would never use the Bible. It doesn't really ruin the page. It's just a personal preference of mine. So I hope that was helpful, guys. If you have any comments or anything about your highlighting system or what you do, maybe you don't have one, but you want to start one, let me know in the comments. I'd love to talk to you guys about that. I hope this video, again, was a blessing. If there's anything that maybe I didn't mention, uh, let me know in the comments or if you want another video on a specific subject like that. Just let me know. Anyways, I hope you guys have a great night and God bless.